And so I was all ready and then a big sign popped up and said my time had expired and I had to re-log in and oh my goodness. <laughs> Good morning, Linda. Crazy, crazy uh, technology. Wow. <gasps> Happy Wednesday! Happy Thanksgiving for all of us in America! Tomorrow's the big day to uh, have turkey and be thankful for our country and our family and our friends. Hey Rhonda also! And um, so today's our card challenge also and I'm sticking with the theme of circles. So Monday I did a scrappy Christmas and I showed you how to make three uh, cards using up leftover scrap paper, cutting them into circles, and then putting the circles on the cards. So if you didn't see that, um, go back and watch that. But today, I've got another card for you using uh, leftover scrap paper, and I'm going to cut the scrap paper into circles and make a really cute card today. Dorothy, I know I've been watching your travels. You guys, if y'all aren't friends with Dorothy, um, she and her husband, all of it, they go hiking everywhere and I think tell me if I'm wrong my husband and I were trying to guess are you trying to hit every state park in America and Arkansas and Oklahoma <laughs> I love it. She's in Fort Davis, so I, and my husband and I have been to Fort Davis. Um, and I saw you were in Big Bend. Did you get a chance to hike up to the top of Mount, and I think it's Mount Avery or Avery, something like that? It's the highest peak in Big Bend. My husband and I did that. And that's where I learned what a Mexican J was. So, uh, anyways, sorry, that's a private, or not private, but a conversation between Dorothy and I. Let's get back to our card. <laughs> uh, circles. So today's a card challenge circle. For you all who do not know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. I come live on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to help card makers overcome their creativity block with the card tutorials. And today, uh, like I said, we're going to be using circles. Now, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, you guys. What are we? Emory Peak, that's it, Dorothy. You are doing it tomorrow. We left before the sun got up. It took all day. Just heads up. Okay, um, back to our cards. <laughs> um, Thanksgiving, what are you guys planning on Thanksgiving? I see Dorothy is going to be in Big Bend National Park. Uh, what are you all doing for Thanksgiving tomorrow, those of us here in America? Um, also, and uh, big news, so Stampin' Up! yesterday had a 24-hour sale, and they had problems with the... Uh, server and everything so they extended it for today well I had planned on doing a Black Friday special starting on Black Friday but um, a lot of my demonstrator friends were like uh, that's silly to have the sale and not my Black Friday we're gonna combine it then Dorothy asked me this morning are you gonna let us use the sale with the and I was like yeah absolutely so go to my web page or to my blog creatingwithchristina.com and over in the well, actually, it's the, the blog post that first comes up. It's called Black Friday Special. And what the, let me switch over. What the Black Friday Special is, if you order the tag buffet and kit and stamp set or spend $50 on anything and use the host code, I'm going to send you 20 note cards. Now, note cards are five by three and a half, and they are perfect well, what they are. They're little note cards. Um, I'm going to send you a whole pack, 20 cards with envelopes, and six tutorials. Two um, very simple cards, two um, kind of little stepped up, and then two advanced, they've got everything going on, uh, card tutorials for you. So uh, that's what's going on for my Black Friday special, and it is available today while we're having the 10% sale. So that's exciting. All right, next thing is um, we need to spin for our winner. So this, on Wednesdays, I'm doing card challenges. And I had, let me switch back over to, yeah, over here. So I had six people enter the card uh, contest this last week. And we are working for this stamp set here, which is a beautiful uh, bouquet let me turn it. There you go. A bouquet, a little uh, border stamp, and a little tiny flower stamp. Um, Janet, Linda, well, two Lindas, Linda Hodge and Linda Brady, uh, Hildenel, Dorothy, and Pamela all entered. So let's see who the winner is. Here we go. Let's click. Linda Brady. Awesome. Okay, Linda. 
I will get that stamp set in the mail to you. I'm putting a sticky note on it right now so I don't forget because there's no mail tomorrow, so it won't go out till Friday or Saturday. Um, but that's that. Congratulations, Linda. And now back to today's card challenge. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I have all this scrap paper. And um, this is from the kit. Uh, yes, this is from uh, Most Wonderful Time uh, kit medley, but this is just the refill kit I ordered, which is a whole stack of paper, and I love this paper. It's so pretty, but I haven't used very much of it. What I have used, I have a lot of scraps left over, but I really, I'm getting, trying to use all this, and these were the three cards that I made on Monday using circles, so I thought, you know what? I love circles. Let's do another circle card. All right, so this time, instead of using the reds and greens, though, I pulled out the gold and white. So we're going to do gold and white today. And I have three circles and I cut the circles out with the layering circles die set. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this is 10% off right now. So if you don't have this, this is a great buy because you can, I mean, it's got every size circle. It's got all just straight edge and then scallop edge. It's an awesome buy. So um, just perfect for all kinds of cards. All right, who do we have? Oh, hey, April, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing, girl? Awesome. Oh, you're going to a cabin. How wonderful. I love that. And good morning, Kay. And here we go. Um, so we have a card base, eight and a half by five and a half. Okay. And then we have a layer, and I just cut it at four by five and a quarter, and that just goes right there. So let me get some adhesive. Oh, heavens, where did I do with my adhesive? Oh, here it is. Woo. Look how pretty. That paper's pretty, too. I mean, this this is called uh, Most Wonderful Time. It's in the front of the holiday catalog, and the refill kit gives you all this paper, stickers, uh, little star embellishments. It's an excellent deal, and it is 10% off today also. Um, here we go. So we have a layer. Now, what we're going to do, and I also pulled out some gold twine, is we are going to make ornaments. <laughs> so I have three different size uh, Christmas balls here, Christmas tree ornaments. And I'm going to put the two larger ones down here like this and the smaller one up here. And then I'm going to put twine um, hanging up. Now, so that I get the twine in the right spot, okay, um, I'm going to use a pencil and mark where I want these Christmas ornaments to land in just a real light circle. Pull this one down a little bit. There we go. And that way I know where my twine is. And you know what? Oh, I wasn't thinking. I need my twine to go back behind my layer. Ah! Yeah, be careful when you're planning on tucking ribbon or twine behind paper, uh, don't stick it down yet. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so it's up enough. Now I can get to it. All right, here we go. So, um, and the best way I've found to adhere uh, any kind of ribbon or twine is to just use adhesive. And so I'm just putting, come on. Not wanting to start. There we go. A little there, a little there, a little there, and then inside here, I'm just going to re attach that when the twine comes around. All right, so now, oh, one more thing. Do you see? I'm going to pull this up. This twine, um, gold twine, it tends to want to fray, and so. Um, as a quilter, I have a little trick for keeping fabric from fraying, and it's called fray check. Okay, and you just get this in a fabric store, and it just prevents fabric from fraying. And so uh, I'm going to get my silicone mat here because nothing sticks to silicone, and put a little dab, a little dab will do you, <laughs> and just get the twine in there and kind of rub it together, twist it back the way it goes. Let's see, it goes this way. And let it dry. Come on, twist. 
There we go. And hold it for a sec. Alright, well, it's not wanting to it's not wanting to dry fast enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. Because I know it's gonna hide behind the Christmas ornament. Okay, and cut some off. Where are my tweezers? My snips. Here are my snips. And enough to tuck back behind there. Whoops, come on. Ugh. And the next one. Whoops, and cut it off. I tell you what, our adhesive is sticky, which is good. There we go, and the last one. There we go. All right, so now we have our ornaments hanging from the top of our card. Oops, come on. Twist back there. There we go. There we go, and there we go, and there we go. All right, perfect. And I'm going to trim this off a little bit. This is kind of long. There we go. All right, so far so good. Whoops. Hold on, this one's not wanting to lay flat. Let me pull it up again. There we go. There we are. Perfect. That was kind of awkward, but we did it. We did it. All right. Remember, when you're planning on putting ribbon behind the paper, don't stick it down. <laughs> All right, our circles are going to go up on dimensionals. And a larger circle, I'll put three dimensionals on. And smaller circles, I'll just put two. Well, since that one came off, I'll go ahead and put that one there. And there. Okay. And my... Um, oh, where's my piercing tool? Oh, I just had it. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Oh, here it is. It's back with my adhesive. All right. Um, if y'all haven't seen this, you just take a piercing tool and you just pick these dimensional backings up like this. When you get a lot on there, they tend not to come up as easily. Yeah, <laughs> take these off. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. All right. Now, our large ornament goes right here. And, you know, like, how do you want the stripes? Do you want the stripes to go? Yeah, I want them to go horizontal. That'll be cute. And then this ornament. I want my star showing. Okay. And this one up here. All right. So now we have our ornaments. But the ornaments need to be tied on. They just don't look right without bows. So I'm going to quickly make three bows, and the way I do that is I just make two loops. I twist them. Oops, come on. Well, easier said than done. With these silly nails that I just insist on wearing. <laughs> there we go. Now pull the tail. There we go. And tighten it. Tighten it. There we go. That looks good. Trim it. And the best thing to adhere bows with um, is uh, dots, mini dots, glue dots. So let me get the glue dots out. And here we go. And there's one bow. Do two more. I should have probably had these other ones made, but that's all right. So I'm uh, Thanksgiving is going to be kind of weird this year. Um, usually, my family and I go all the way over to South Carolina. My husband's youngest brother has a beach house um, just north of Charleston and south of Myrtle Beach, and we get the whole family together, and everybody's responsible for different parts of the meal. And 
we're all sleeping on the floors and because it's just a two bedroom no it's a three bedroom condo um, and we spend Thanksgiving on the beach and this will be the first time they have not done that in years because of COVID um, they're going out there themselves but the whole family's not going um, so my husband and I and my three daughters who live here in Texas they are not wanting to gather they're a little anxious about COVID my husband works in a hospital so they're kind of really anxious about him and um, so we said that's no problem we'll FaceTime on Thanksgiving and I am going to make a turkey and all the fixings just for the two of us and we will have Thanksgiving for an entire week <laughs> but that's okay I love it I love cooking so it doesn't really bother me I just um It'll just be the two of us. It'll be kind of romantic. But I'm going to set the table. I'm going, I'm still going to do everything because it's still Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hello, Francine. And, oops, got to trim that off of there. All right. So now we have the little bows, <clears throat> excuse me, holding the ornaments on. There we go. Oops, that, that bow's upside down. All right, well, we'll do with that later. All right, so we're almost done. The last thing we need is a sentiment on here. And I picked out a really great stamp set. If you haven't seen this one, this one is a triple holiday stamp set. So it has uh, Happy Fall, Y'all, then Happy Haunting, Boo, Be Merry, A Treat So Sweet, Happy Thanksgiving, Christmas Wishes, guess who loves you so it's got actually it's got four holidays it's got thanksgiving um i'm sorry thanksgiving valentine's halloween and christmas and it's such a great set and it's a bundle with our banner punch and those of you who do not like making this by hand and you wish there was a punch we have a punch <laughs> um, this is a half inch strip which i have so many half inch strips from when i trimmed down eight and a half by 11s um whoops i was like why is that not working because i haven't opened it <laughs> half inch strips um it just goes right in there whoops come on get in there there we go and then you just punch it and it makes a perfect flag tail or banner tail all right so i'm doing that i'm also going to do a three quarter inch so it goes half inch three quarter inch and one inch paper um for this there we go. So now I have that. Um, I know these are kind of long, but I wanted to, I'll trim them off the edge here in just a sec. All right. And then I'm using uh, Christmas Wishes, the stamp from the um, banner year. And I like punching my uh, banner first because I need to see where the wishes need to end. There we go, just like that. And then I'm just going to put this on here. Actually, I'm gonna put the gold on first. Okay, so let's put some adhesive back here. Mm -hmm. And whoops, I'm not sure what that is. There we go. And I go all the almost all the way to the edge, not quite. Okay. And this is why I don't trim it, because I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go. That is kind of crooked. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to put Christmas Wishes right here. I love it. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and I'm doing it up on dimensionals. Okay. So one and well i'm not sure how far that goes down i think that's where it is okay now let's get these off oh i better put the lid on that before i stick my hand in it there we go all right Now I'll take the snips and just snip, snip. Oh, it's kind of hard to go through 
the gold. There we go. <clears throat> Ta da! <laughs> okay, so your challenge is to make a card with circles on it for this week, all right? And I can't wait to see what you make. Also, don't forget, take advantage 10% today on almost everything in the annual catalog. Oh, the annual catalog. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, these are not, okay, the, um, yeah, the kits are not. Uh, Christmas stuff is not on sale. Ooh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. But the 10% sale. So if you order $50 and you don't order the, the banner kit, um, I'm sorry, it's not a banner kit. It's a tag kit, tag buffet. I'm still going to give you the note cards. As long as you use the hostess code and you spend the $50, I'm giving you 20 free note cards and six tutorials, okay? Um, because not everything is on sale, but there's so much on sale, I couldn't possibly tell you what was and what wasn't, okay? Hey, good morning, Mima. How are you? All right, so that is that. You all have a blessed Thanksgiving, and um, I will see you on Friday. I'm sticking with the circle theme, by the way. Friday's Fun Fold includes a circle. Okay, bye-bye, <laughs> you guys.